Hey loves, Keisha Rice here and I am a dating coach for successful Christian women and I wanted to talk to you today about using your feminine energy to attract what you want. So a lot of women who are successful and ambitious struggle with this a lot, this idea of using your feminine energy because let's face it, a lot of us live in an incredibly masculine world this world of if you are in the corporate sphere then oftentimes you may have bosses who are men if you're an entrepreneur then you're following all of these business coaches and gurus who the majority of them are still even nowadays men so i work with a lot of women who have a hard time learning how to balance that environment, constantly being in a place of masculine energy with learning how to use their feminine energy to get what they want. So I'm gonna give you three ways to do that. Number one is focusing on the good. As women, we have a tendency to naturally see the best in people. However, oftentimes when you get to a point where you are so jaded and so discouraged, then you just run immediately into the negativity sphere. And this looks like things where I have clients who they will come to me and I ask them, how are you meeting new guys? How are you going out and meeting people? And they'll say something like, oh, well, I went to this particular place. I went to this restaurant, this bar, to this event, but I go there every Saturday and all the men who are there are idiots. Everyone who goes there is an idiot. <laughs> and my response to that is, if you're saying that everyone who goes there is an idiot, what's that saying about you, the fact that you go there every single week? So instead of focusing on negativity because you had one bad experience or maybe even two or three bad experiences, you should focus on the good and think, hey, I go to this place and I'm smart, I'm successful, I'm awesome. There must be other smart, successful, awesome people here. Or you flip that and you say, okay, so I'm not having success at this place. Where can I go where I know I'm going to meet someone who is like-minded, where I know I'm going to meet someone who is just as amazing as I am? You know, psychology tells us all the time that when we want someone to behave in the way that we want them to behave, that we focus on the positive. So I am a newlywed myself. Psychology teaches that if I'm upset with my husband for doing something, I don't say to him, you never do this, or you always do that. This annoys me so much. Instead, I would say something to him like, hey babe, I absolutely love it when you wash the dishes. It makes me feel so, poor, so supported to see you doing things around the house so that I can focus on my business. We focus on the positive to get the results that we want. So why not apply that to yourself as well? Instead of focusing on the negative, the last time I tried to put myself out there, I was rejected. Or the last time that I gave dating a chance, it sucks so badly. Focus on the positive. I've learned so much since that last experience that I know things are gonna be so much greater this time around. So the second way in which we use our feminine energy to get the things that we want is in the form of expressing ourselves more and letting go of that fear to express ourselves. Women are naturally creative and expressive. Anytime you have a conversation with a woman, you can clearly see that. My husband and I were talking about the fact that one of the things that he had to get most used to being married was the fact that I have long conversations and that I like to talk a lot. You would think that he would have noticed that in the few years of dating, but hey, for him, that is something to get more used to because he's used to always being around men who have a tendency to be a little bit more straightforward in their conversations. You know, women, we have a tendency to start in Atlanta and then the conversation kind of takes a turn to New York for a minute and then we get back to Atlanta and then 
you know, we may go over to Chicago for a minute or so, and then somehow the conversation manages to take a trip all the way to California, and then we come back to Atlanta. We go on tangents, just like the tangent that I just went on. <laughs> so when it comes to expressing yourself, women are naturally creative, expressive beings. So let me ask you this. Why are you so afraid to ask for what it is that you want? You are naturally expressive. So when you have boundaries, when you've developed those, have no fear about expressing the boundaries that you have and making it clear, this is what I'm okay with and this is what I'm not okay with in a relationship. If you have no problem expressing yourselves when it comes to gossiping with your friends or you have no trouble expressing yourself when it comes to singing a song that you love at the top of your lungs, then why is it so hard for you to express yourself when someone asks you what is it that you want in a relationship? You were created to express. You were created to ask. So do those things. And the third tip that I can give you when it comes to using your feminine energy to get what you want is trusting your intuition. Woman's intuition is an incredibly powerful thing and our intuition has to be on like level 100. Think about it, you know, women are the ones who become mothers. So we naturally have that intuitive sense in us that allows us to better protect our children, allows us to better protect ourselves. So when it comes to using your intuition, again, a lot of women who are in the corporate world or who are business women have such a hard time with this because they find themselves surrounded by men. And I'm not saying that men have no intuition whatsoever, but men tend to fall towards the logical side, the analytical side, and there's nothing wrong with that. It is how they are created. But again, we naturally have an incredible sense of intuition. So sometimes things can look good, but if they don't feel good to you, then you are wasting your time. When it comes to relationships, you can go on a few dates with a guy who is perfectly nice. There's nothing wrong with him per se. He's you know, he checks off a lot of the boxes on your list. He's good on paper, but there's just a gut feeling for you that this isn't right. Whether you think that there's something that he's hiding or even if you just don't feel that the chemistry is there, don't waste his time and don't waste yours. Learn how to trust your intuition a little bit more because the fact is, even though women are born with this powerful sense of intuition, it is also developed it is both innate and a skill. So the more we use it, the more it grows stronger. So again, these are three ways to use your feminine intuition in order to get the things that you want. And those three things are focusing on the good, learning how to express yourself, and then checking in and trusting your intuition more. If you are interested in learning more about it, what it means to be truly feminine, I have a masterclass that is called the five shifts that women need to make in order to attract a godly man who will cherish them. And I will put the link in the comment section. Talk to you guys later. Love you all. Bye.